need to snowball. There's really no such thing as nightmare snowballing because if he's right like twice, you just lose. So it's oh, not yeah. really the same thing as snowballing. If you just guessed right twice, the guy died. Well, well, well you, you can say that he doesn't have snowballing or that he constantly in snowballs. <laughs> or, or he just is a snowman. <laughs> yeah. He's just made of snowballs. Nice 6 b into a terror charge, which is pretty important. This is stage also that Nightmare in Terror Charge can ring out pretty far. Yeah, basically from oh. like, uh, oh no, what happened? He didn't Was there like nothing to, to do there? I, well, I guess that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Dre has decided, um, I appreciate the fact that he pretty much mashed in every situation in that first <laughs> round. Um, which I definitely wholeheartedly agree with, just in terms of like, I do so much damage versus uh, against my opponent that uh, if I'm right once or twice for every like five or six situations that pop up, I'm still gonna win. And one part about Nightmare that this is the one character that I believe can actually play pretty good defense, not exactly about like, you know, block punishment, but more about like spacing punishment. Oh no, right. why did that track? <laughs> Oh, oh no, and wow. he mashed wake and won. Up. Wake, wake up, up right. wake up, okay. wait. yeah. But at the yeah. same time, you can play offensively with him. And I think the good Nightmare play requires you to switch tempos. Uh, it's also your... important to note that Dre plays Raphael. So oh, yeah. you can definitely see a lot more anti just overall Raphael. Like he's backstepping in situations that none of the other people were. Um, a, a lot of these situations where he feels comfortable challenging where most people feel like they just have to weather the storm. Oh, nice okay. Right I thought that it was uh, too far. But okay. Yeah, I, I thought that too. But yeah, that's why I didn't say anything. At the same time, he scored a lot of hits and a yeah. lot of important hits on wake ups. So yeah. he would roll and mash and, you know, either score a lethal hit right like right now or just score some damage that was enough to win a round. So maybe this is something for Spectre Child to consider his wake up game. And well, see, at that point, history. yeah, it's kind of tough because at that point, it's kind of a poison chalice because uh, it, you are correct that essentially the way that Dre is playing is going to force uh specter child to kind of second guess his normal cruise control type pressure which means that he has to play it a little bit more slow and calculating but that's kind of exactly what jerry wants as well because if you start playing it slow and calculating then you're kind of minimizing raf's ability to just throw buttons in your face and you oh, yeah. can't really do much about it so now you're trading you're turning into a situation where both of these characters are kind of just like not doing the momentum based stuff and they're just kind of like trading hit for hit nobody really beats nightmare when you're trading hit for hit that's true nice punish on a terror charge into a Jesus lot Christ. of damage <laughs> okay yeah, there again go. again he has not respected a single wake up yet that's uh, the first one he has yes okay wow oh, that was Spectre Child has had so many of his uh, prep caves uh, sidestep side so today. far in this thing. That, that's got to be like the fourth or fifth time I've seen that. Uh, ooh, no punish. Oh, nice hard charge into guaranteed not damage. And and now you, you can see definitely yeah, Spectre Child just like second guessing his whole game. Well, at the very least, he's playing it slow. And again, yeah. I agree with this, but this is kind of what I was talking about. Where it's just like, if you're just trying, if you're just playing hot potato with with nightmare you've kind of removed nightmare's weakness haven't you like uh at that point uh, the fact that he's the slowest character in the game doesn't really matter so Anymore. okay we well, can get something uh big okay. here not gonna get the ring out but he's gonna get uh about half of his life left nah, kind of flub there at the end i think yeah he, he dropped a combo or maybe yeah, it was a like, reset nice book right. punish yeah do a little bit of damage and uh, soul charge. Okay. To make well, yeah, he, he whipped his move. Yeah, I just feel like yeah. Special Child is um, not used to the wake up situations that Dre is shoving at him. Uh, ugh. Uh, it's, okay. This is, this is looking tough. I just feel like Spectre Child, for the most part, is just having a real tough time understanding when he can hit Dre when he's on the ground. Frankly speaking, at this point, <laughs> I would say that it's been so wholeheartedly. Uh, as much of a failure that the second I get a uh, a knockdown, I just leave. Yeah, and I just, we we play the neutral game again. As, as I'll I'll be honest with you, as a killer player, I understand. That. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, you know what, Okies, it's it's not important. Just get treat out. it like you're playing against Valdo all the time. Just like yeah. the second that the Valdo player is on the ground, okay, now we're gonna get back up. No, I really feel like you could have done better than that. But, uh, uh, 
okay. still got the previous round, which was actually <laughs> uh, pretty bad for him at the start. He was able to turn it around. Are we Maybe. like 100% sure that that kick has hitboxes? Or... I'm not. <laughs> oh, nice soul charge? Yeah. Yep, nice Grimms tried to get under the uh, under the high. But nice nice right. high. That was actually very um, like high risk play. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a shame it... that uh, he didn't get the 6k as the whiff punish against uh, Spectre Child there. Oh man, we're, we're kind of flubbing some stuff oh. here. Yeah, okay, football kick. Uh, 